we are live and this is the first mastermind meetup just uh let's go yeah. let's go <laughs> <laughs> um on this uh mastermind thing so we have some uh topics here that we're going to talk about but first let's get into it um i'm tim and then my friend here is i'm, I'm juan yeah, and uh, we decided to start this mastermind to move our um, location independent goals forward to head towards that digital nomadism or expatriatism, yeah. depending on how you look at it. Um, that's kind of the purpose. I like to start it. What is your, how, why are you in here, Juan? Like, what's your, where are you trying to get to? So basically, um, I'm on the same path here. So basically, just trying to like, make myself free from the u.s basically just because i don't i'm not a fan of this place but, but yeah that's mostly why though yeah i'm right there with you <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's a cool country but there's yeah. really other there's other uh countries that i really enjoy their culture and food yeah i mean i mean i think i mean i'm grateful for the time i've been here and for i mean i'm, I'm in school still and like all the jobs i i had before but it's just I feel like you just work here every day, and then you're not enjoying, I guess, your time in the earth. <laughs> yeah, about the little things, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, before this uh, mastermind started, Juan uh, had a little beverage with him. You want to share? <laughs> with oh yeah, sure. So <laughs> looks really good. <laughs> I'm a big fan of coffee, so I met I made this um, espresso with the machine my dad bought today. So this is basically, um, I'll call it short cappuccino. Yeah. Since I made an espresso cup, but that's it, man. Yeah, it's it looks. Really good. It looks like a. Yeah. Uh, no sugar, dude. No sugar, just milk and coffee. That's it. Yeah. To me, it looks like a vanilla latte, which is usually what I like. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess you can have vanilla just to add some flavor to it, but. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. It is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. Um, I guess we're both here, and that's kind of how we. Uh, are still friends we're still talking about this uh yeah. lifestyle um we can go into a little bit about ourselves just because this is the first one and you know people right. probably are not familiar with our background um so right. do you want to start first or me I, either way you got you got all right cool um so my background is that i was in pharmacy before so I worked about two years and eight months as a pharmacist in a a small infusion uh, company. And I I kind of started realizing the same thing that maybe Juan is seeing too. Like you just work and really you just have the money and you end up blowing it on, you know, going to bars or buying stuff off Amazon, yeah. um, music tickets, all that stuff. And then I think it wasn't until I went to Europe my first trip and i think that was 2016 or 17 where i realized that there's other ways to like enjoy life you're not just making money buying a house buying a car and like trying to keep up with everybody else there's yeah. actually a moment when i sat in italy with a, a friend of mine um he was from montana and he, he was just working around the world and he was really enjoying it i was like man how come i couldn't have the same lifestyle you know yeah so after all this, I basically transitioned over to web development and then I'm trying to move towards perhaps living in another country or so. And that's kind of where we're having these conversations now. And where I'm at right now is that I just finished a contract gig here in Texas and now possibly looking for another place or maybe staying in Texas. So that's still up in the air. Um, that's a little bit about me and I'll let Juan right. uh, talk about him. All right, so my background. So, I mean, I want to say I've been in tech since 2013. So it's been a while, but I've just been all over the place. I mean, I had a few, um, I want to say tech support positions where I did get to write code. Because at one point in my career, like Tim, you know, I got hired by uh, Facebook. But it was a contract, though. I'm, I was not working directly with them. And I was working in the data center space, and that, that was really cool because I got to see, um, I mean, where Facebook lives, like Instagram, what's up, and all these apps live because it's basically, that's where everything happens. Like, mm -hmm. 
that's where messages go through. That's where you upload your pictures, all this stuff. But uh, then again, I was not happy there because I was being held back. Because at one point, some engineers asked me for help to make an app for permissions or something. So then um, at that point, I'm like, okay, I'm not happy here. And then mm -hmm. in late 2017, I think mm -hmm. I was keeping Tim in uh, track on like what the hell was going on with this job <laughs> and I, what, what it was going to do. So I left December 2017. And then I think we took a trip to South Carolina, North Carolina, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then after that, uh, some things happened and uh, I was able to go to Mexico. And then we went to Mexico for like a month right. and then you stay more time there. Yeah. <laughs> and I and I kept going back to Mexico cuz I love the I love the vibe there. The, it feels even though it's not the best or top country I guess in the whole world, but people, I guess people there don't make that much money, but they're still happy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean the way I yeah. look at uh I guess where we visited in Mexico, it's like yeah. halfway between US and maybe a, a poorer yeah. region in Mexico. So it's like a halfway yeah. point. Yeah, so, you get half and half because, I mean, you still get your... Um, I mean, it depends where you go to Mexico. But yeah. if you step like, between the center, the capital, and then north part of Mexico, you can basically have all your uh, American grocery stores and Amazon and stuff like that. So basically, you, you're not losing that much stuff like you will have in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And besides that do you get more stuff for your money? I mean, rent is not as much and yeah, everything else. <laughs> what, what was the what was the cheapest place that you found like five tacos for? Like how many pesos and how does that translate to the US dollar? Yeah, this was a place <laughs> in uh, Monterrey um, in Santa Catarina. It's, um, I forgot the name of the spot. It, it was my second time trying tacos out with my friends. <laughs> so they took me out there. And I um, got an, or an order of five um, tacos de trompo, and it was 55, which translates to, um, like I want to say, three, $3.50, around that. Yeah. And that's a whole meal. Yeah. It was good, that's too, a right? Whole meal. <laughs> yeah, it, it was good. I mean, I wanted more, but that's a whole meal. You're not spending 10 bucks. Yeah. Or 12 or 15. I don't know. Yeah, like even today I was at Chipotle and I bought a meal for about $9. Yeah. I mean, that's like not bad and it's pretty wholesome food. But dude, yeah. like a third of the price for a whole meal, like that that's good yeah. and it keeps you full. I, I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd be willing to trade up stuff for that, you know? <laughs> yeah, same, same. Um, but, um, yeah. But yeah. That's kind of where you're at right now. Just um, Yeah, so right now I'm... Well, the, to finish this off, I'm still in school, just trying to finish my uh, web dev uh, degree. And I hope to be done by the end of this year. And while I'm, I'm doing that, I'm trying to apply to jobs. You just leave um, the DMV, like Virginia, D.C. area, mm -hmm. to go to Austin and just be closer to uh, the south of Mexico itself. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but yeah. And yeah, just to add on to, to your story, um, I'm already here in Texas. And I really enjoy traveling to Mexico. And you've probably seen from the videos in the past, I've been to other places in South America. And um, I'm, I'm, I want to be here by choice because it is, uh, you're in the same time zone as the US. You're able to travel a lot quicker down to, to, uh, to the South. And um, so I think both of us, where we are right now, we're trying to land our solid like developer full-time developer job in order to set right. ourselves up maybe you can talk a little bit about what goals you have here in texas and how long it would take you to achieve it here in texas right so i mean right now i'm just wanting to take any job at this point just to be in austin just to hold me down there but uh, if i'm able to land a web dub um position like front end like i don't care if it's an internship like as long as it's experience i'll do it i'll go down there and stay as long as i need but um to get to the goal is just be remote i mean ho hopefully i'll find a company in austin or like anywhere in the u.s mm -hmm. that's willing to let me work from home and then from there it'll probably take me eight, two years three years who knows 
it just depends. It's just right now. It's just a matter of getting there to Austin. So. Yeah, and I think many people might not know, but you can't directly go into a remote job right away. You need some yeah. kind of uh, mastery over um, your coding language, so they know that you can produce work and you're accountable. Um, yeah, and you can, you know, make the company profit. Um, yeah, and I think I think we're both in the same boat as that in that regard as well. Um, I finished my job recently. I'm also on the market to find a new job here, and I'd like to stay here about two or three years as well. I'm still debating between you know buying a house, uh, building a tiny home, or right. you know buying even a conversion van to live in for the time being while I save money. So there's a lot of options that you and I have talked about, and then also yeah. with our other friend um, uh, last week. So it's something that we're keeping in mind right now, and our main focus is still, I guess, trying to find a full-time dev job. Right. However, to transition to the next point, we're talking about side opportunities, kind of maybe to grow our skills or to even to to may, maybe make some money off of it or some side income. Right. Um, right, what kind of side ops are you running right now? So side ops right now. So, I mean, just to get some income, I mean, I still work from on like a couple, I mean, two companies I used to work with. Uh, when I started working in tech, they hired me back um, a, a couple of years uh, later. So I'm still with them. So I'm, I'm just doing small things for them, and I get some income like twice a month for them for, uh, from them. Sorry. And then um, the other thing I'm trying to launch, I guess this just is be, I guess the build up for this project I have might be kind of slow because I mean I want to gain organic followers. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I don't want to buy like <laughs> services to gain followers or listeners or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's basically uh, my music project. I'm still deciding on a name. But right now, I'm sticking to passes and passports, which I nice. think it's it relates to what has has happened to my life uh, lately. Because I've been, I mean, I just got back from Mexico a couple of months ago. Yeah. And then um, I'm just trying to, like, I guess, live remote. To be honest, so I get, I think that name resonates with that uh, theme. I'm trying to get to. Yeah, but, and I, th um, I think it's it's similar to like travel dev because it's like. Just that yeah. traveling aspect, and you like being other countries and stuff. Right. I mean, and, and the thing is, I picked that because it's just some, like, I guess, background of the name because I made some music one in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So I, I took my um, keyboard, I, I took my microphone, and I took a guitar you gave me. Mm -hmm. So I made some ideas on the road, I guess. So. Yeah, it's, it's almost like yeah. if you get that to a point where you can scale up or people just buy your, your music for a track for like yeah. a dollar or two yeah, yeah. i mean maybe the, more. the plan that that's the plan just to put it in the market right now i mean i got everything ready i just gotta um launch it at this point and then uh i mean i have some like have the music on spotify just to have listeners because i think you gain some income from that yeah so. yeah and i i think there's there's so many different uh opportunities out there um are you doing anything that's maybe uh, with websites or website design or development or anything on, for side opportunities? For side opportunities, I mean, th that's what I want, but I mean, it's kind of hard because I've always been turned down for positions just like being too junior, quote unquote. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm willing to take like any project to like make a site for anyone like or like a company. So that I'm, I'm open to that, but it's just, I don't see it happening lately, so... That's what I'm trying to get to Austin, get a job there, and see what happens from there. Yeah, I think our bread and butter is still trying to find, you know, a, a mid-sized company or small-sized company to yeah just grow our experiences for the time being. And then mm -hmm. the cool thing is that I think there's a lot of um, hands-on jobs that you can do that not necessarily mean that you have to sit behind a computer all day. Right. Yeah. Because as a dev, we're already doing that so much and you need to get out, get fresh air, meet people to, to kind of stay sane, in, in my opinion, or right. to kind of go crazy. And <laughs> okay, well, just recently, um, as far as side ops, um, I've just been working um, for my previous company on working uh, on like bug fixes and features. 
but that wasn't really it was only bringing partial income and then now i'm i'm kind of just going full time on the job search process and hopefully that will turn up something and i'm developing here um as you may you know i probably told you with my channel you Mm -hmm. know how to just meet people connect with other developers and hopefully it will turn up with something and yeah. in the meantime just mastering my skills so i'm hoping to grow up my own youtube channel with um just javascript and web development uh things um videos that ultimately it's, it's really meant to teach myself and then like maybe my friends or other developers because maybe that will get some traction and then it can lead to other things in the future Right. And as far as hands-on stuff, I think the 2020 census is coming up as well. So I was at a job fair recently, and they offer uh, 23 bucks an hour as well. So that might be something I'll do to hold me over part-time until I find that full job. But I think for the bulk of it, I'm trying to grow just experience with making content, with doing videos, and perhaps maybe that leads to a course, maybe that leads to a book, maybe that leads to other things. But I think with anything, you have to put in the time to grow your skills as in web development in making videos in public speaking, which is kind of what we're doing right now and not kind of spacing out. Um, Yeah. And um, I think that's what I have going on. Do you have any other side hustles that you're, you're doing? So, not really. I think that's mostly, I mean, I'm trying to launch that music um, project I told you about. So, because mm-hmm. I, I do like, I mean, I spend, I mean, I think I spend more time in that than everything else. Like when I'm trying to like just get away from everything else, like just get away for, from code. So I spend a lot of time just doing music stuff. Okay. And, um, but besides that, I mean, the money I'm getting from the companies, I usually just try to save it, like, um, just just save it because I'm not spending any money. Like, I don't see a need to spend any money yet. Yeah. Just for this, um, I'm just going to make an effort for this um, Austin trip I'm trying to make this next month. I yeah. Totally yeah. Yeah. So um, that's mostly where my money goes, just to, like, go somewhere or, like, I don't know, buy something that I need. Yeah. Not that I want, so... And I think that's a good move for you too, because you're able to see what places, kind of places you like to live in. Right. And, you know, like you said, you don't want to be in DMV forever. You're trying to get out. Um, And just going to these other places, I think will open up your, your mind about what you'd like to go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So tell me a little bit more about like the specific side op, like if you have any more details about your music thing, like where are you, are you in the process? Are you making a channel? Are you making social media? Like where exactly are you in Um, the process? So right now I'm trying to get my website up. I'm trying to make a graph, I guess an album uh, cover, cover, Mm -hmm. uh, sorry for the, for the songs. I mean, I'm not sure how many songs I want to post. Yeah, but maybe mm-hmm. three or four, maybe from all the ones I have, and then yeah, and I already have my Instagram up for that um, project. So nice. once I have it ready, everything's gonna be linked to the website, and then um, from the website, everything's gonna link back to like Spotify, iTunes. I guess mostly the apps I kn- like that are popular for streaming music because mm-hmm. I mean it's gonna go everywhere, but. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to link the main ones and then maybe just to gain a bit more income, I might sell it directly from the website, mm. like have a basic store. Like, and I think you were telling me that you went through a, a service to, to market your music. Like they take care yeah. of all the, the value production and stuff. Yes. Is that right? So I, I already paid for that service. So right now it's just a matter of getting the songs bundled up, basically. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, and how, how often are you making your music? So right now, because I've been kind of busy with the um, other projects, like the local Quella up, we're trying mm-hmm. to like um, launch or make, I guess. And then, uh, I mean, I got school going on. So usually it, it's really random because... 
I would just get an idea for something. I'm like, oh, I think this might be cool. So I just started messing around on the guitar. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's probably like every two weeks or something. I just started messing around and I, and I come up with an idea and then I, I put it down on a computer and that's it. Yeah. I guess a, yeah. a little bit, you know, at a time, you'll, you'll build up a big yeah. album. <laughs> so just got to keep yeah. at it is the important thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you did mention like the Loquella app. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of kick it off here. So yeah, uh, I, th- I thought of the idea and then I approach you and you're like, yeah, that seems like something we could work on. And basically I told you that Loquella was basically a Spanish tool to practice different things for the language. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say it's so much a learning tool. I would say it's more of a practice tool. Right. Um, and the content will s- stem from mainly one of the audio courses that I listen to. And then there's also some pretty good sources for like textbook material, like uh, studyspanish.com, I think is one that comes to mind. Um, just taking content from those. And we had we talk a lot about a lot of ideas of, on how to grow it, but do you want to speak on how maybe you want to get started or how we're going to get started on it? And then what kind of texts we decided recently and then like right. what the purpose behind all of this is like, is it money? Is it whatever? You know? Yeah. I mean, I guess to start off with the purpose, it's just basically self-development just to learn all mm-hmm. this technologies we're trying to like master or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then the second thing, I mean, I guess maybe down the road you can make money. Mm-hmm like ads or i don't know or, or make it a service right like you're selling to people like to teach spanish more heavily i guess mm-hmm. and then lastly um what was the other thing you said um so to make money and then like kind of what other features are you thinking about down the line oh. or what were we talking about i guess oh right, right. yeah basically it's just make a basic spanish practice tool for people to use and i mean for us i mean i think it will help me too because i mean i know spanish yeah <laughs> but i don't know the technical stuff okay so i really need help with that because i mean i can write it just basically bare bones no accents right nothing <laughs> but i don't know if it's right so <laughs> <laughs> hey man you, you're still doing a lot better job than me who's uh right who doesn't have any so, knowledge <laughs> yeah but I mean, so, but since I understand it, I mean, I feel like I can bring a lot to the table just to like basic knowledge of Spanish. Yeah, and, um, and I think that's really cool that you're bringing, you know, your language into this project. And for someone like me who travels and who who's coming from a really beginner standpoint, right? despite, you know, staying almost a year total in Spanish countries, I still haven't like gotten to a point where I'm satisfied yet. Right. And being able to have a native speaker on there really helps. So I'm I'm really glad that you jumped on the project with me, and right. we're gonna try to push this. Um, yeah, I think we were talking about one feature, just having different, um, yeah, like practice verb conjugation, for example. What's maybe one other feature that we were talking about? Uh, maybe I think one thing we said we talked about was how do you pronounce words. Mm. So we probably record an audio mm-hmm. and then have the word on top of the audio and then just repeat it back as many times the user wants or whatever. Yeah, so basically like having a data service or a server to hold our, our MB, MP3s. Like I would yeah. say the word house. You would say the word house in Spanish and let house, the speaker yeah. listen to how bad I butcher it versus a native speaker. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's one of the features, and um, I forget what else we talked about. I think just like the tech stack in general, yeah. um, we decided on React for the front end, specifically create React app, and Node on the back end with a Postgres database. And I'm sure there's going to be tons of other tools that will come in, um, but yeah, I think that's kind of what we figured on. <laughs> yeah. And I think right now we're we're trying to figure out the, the workflow process because we have these uh, tools to keep track of different issues and features that we want to build out. And then right. Juan and I are working on ways to commit our changes to the dev branch and then eventually merge it onto the master branch. Right. And 
I guess what's what's the one thing that we're working on right now? Like the process? Is it deployment, right? That's what we're doing? Yeah, deployment. I guess just have a basic um I mean I guess for the front end, just have a basic um home page. Yeah. Yeah. Just making sure that it works on like yeah. Netlify or something, right? Yeah, just making sure it works on that service and um and yeah. then we'll figure out the back and stuff. And I think this project's really cool also because we're pair programming. So we're hopping onto um, video calls. So you can see what the other person is typing. And then you kind of figure it out together, which makes it a lot more fun than me or you sitting solo, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, cool. Um, that's all I got for Loquello for the time being. I'm sure we'll go into it more depth as we move. Right. Yeah. Do you have anything else you want to add for that? No, I think that's mostly a, just a basic overview of what that app is. Okay. Um, and then the last thing topic we have here is job apps and location. Um, I'll kick this one off. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, I'm applying here to Texas. And I'm just trying to find something that's maybe outside of Austin downtown. And I'm sure you, when you visited before here in Austin, you saw how much traffic there was in downtown, you know, at, at you know, eight a.m. or nine a.m. Yeah. in the morning, and four and five p.m. in the afternoon, and I think there's other companies that are outside, kind of like Northern Austin, that you can potentially get into, but I think they're bigger companies. And then I'm looking just to find something that's close, you know, that's drivable within twenty twenty five minutes, not more than that, because where I am right now in relation to downtown, which uh, is about forty five minute drive. And right. I told you this the other day, like even just going to um, an after hours event, it's it's kind of a pain because you have to take almost an hour to get home and that's without traffic. Right. So I'm probably going to do that and I'll end up like just renting for now, wherever is mm. closer to the job place. Um, what about you? And, you know, I know you were talking about coming here and visiting too. What are, I guess, what are you looking for here? So basically, the goal for this next trip to Austin is just to network. And uh, I did apply to a couple jobs. I mean, I've been applying to jobs lately, just to Austin strictly. And um, what else? Yeah, go to events, meetups. Oh, yeah. Just to, just to meet more people and, like, hopefully get connected with, hopefully, uh, what it would be an actual job to work in Austin. Right. And, um, yeah, and uh, what else? I think that's mostly it. I mean, and this time, I mean, I want to explore Austin a bit more because remember last time I only went there for a week. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's enough time to see the city. No. And, yeah, I guess location-wise, uh, I mean, we were talking about, like, staying with your roommate. Mm -hmm. um, that seems like a good idea because you said uh, she might need help or, or whatever. Yeah. But then again... Uh, since most of the events are down in downtown Austin, right? I really want to be close to that area. So, yeah. I mean, if I'm able to walk just to downtown and avoid all the traffic, great. I mean, I can go out for a run. Also, I'm still in the city, so right. So and... we'll see. We'll talk talk about that later, though. But yeah, yeah, and you know, it's yeah, we were talking about one point to actually grab a, a place for a month or so because they do have month to month contracts here. So yeah. the places range from 500 to 700 bucks uh, month to month. So it's actually not too bad um, if someone is actually looking to move here to Austin. There are places like that. And yeah, I guess when you decide to come here, we'll, we'll figure out how and and what events we're going to go to. Um, yeah. And then speaking of events that you were saying, there were a lot of career fairs and job fairs that have been popping up recently here in January. And, you know, I sent you the calendar just to see um, which ones you were able to make. And I've been to maybe two so far, which were pretty good. I, nothing really came out of them yet. Like, I've just made connections. Oh. But even meetup groups here, man. Um, there, was, there was a Hispanic hackers group that I went to that I really enjoyed. And I'm hoping to become part of their leadership team to start hosting events on Sundays like we used to do back in... Uh, VA at that Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, yeah. free code camp uh, Ashburn group that we used to hang like out with. <laughs> yeah. And, old uh, days. Oh, yeah, pretty much. 
And uh, yeah, I think that's kind of where we're headed coming into February here. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say about this month or what you're looking forward to next month or anything else? To next, add? next month, um, I mean, I guess we're going to get uh, going with that uh, Loquilla, Loquilla up. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to be buying my ticket to Austin actually tomorrow. Nice. So I'll tell you the, the dates here um, in a bit. Okay. But, um, yeah, that's cool. And after that, um, I mean, the plan is just to stay there for a month. So, yeah, I mean, to stay there for a month, if I find a job, I'll stay like whatever time I need to. So, right. Kind of like country hopping like you were before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except you're keeping it domestic this time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I really, I mean, who knows? I mean, if I land a job and then I don't know, it's like I really want to go back, back to Mexico. But then again, it's just kind of risky because I can afford to spend that much money again. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, even sure. though even though it's, it's cheap to stay down there, I mean, I, I mean, I don't, I don't want to buy a bus ticket. I want to fly in because it's just a long drive. Mm -hmm. For sure. So maybe I'll postpone this year's trip to, trip to like a later month. Who knows? Yeah, when it gets cold, you know. Yes, later. I mean, right now it should be temperate to where um, I I don't know. I think is that a word? Temperate. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah, tempered. Yeah. Like it's not hot or cold. Yeah, I mean, so, I guess that works. <laughs> I understand what you yeah, mean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So right now is the time to go, but then again, if I end up going in the summer, it's just gonna be hell. So I'm trying to avoid just going in the summer. Yeah, it, it got pretty hot in Monterey, so um, maybe this year even go somewhere else too. But Monterey, yeah, is a I mean, place. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I do want to get somewhere else, but but then again, I, I like the city a lot, so we'll see. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got for this one. So I know you're working on your YouTube channel or just your, your music and, yeah. and all your social media channels in general. Um, mm -hmm. do you want to share anything about, uh, your different links or how people can, I guess, sample or preview your work or anything? So I guess right now I'll keep, I'll send you the links if you want, might want to post them on your channel, but yeah, yeah. basically on SoundCloud, it's called passport and i mean passes and passports mm -hmm. and the same thing for um instagram that's the same name i'll, I'll link it down i'll give it to Tim so he can link it down yep and then um i don't gotta look for a domain because i don't have a domain name. <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure it'll be easy to buy like a dot cc or dot xyz or something yeah something if you're not, really simple. if you're not serious about it yet yeah <laughs> yeah so i'll link down down later to tim but um yeah. But yeah, I'll, I'll just give you the SoundCloud and Instagram links. Yeah. And, um, you know, for me, it's always been the same. I'm, I'm redoing my website uh, for Travel Dev. Um, my other one was Gatsby. I'm trying to convert it to Next.js. And I right. think most of the, the YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, it's, it's the same. Mm -hmm. It's been the same. So it should be updated once I put it down in the description below. But I think we're hoping to do this once a week what it took like 33 minutes just now but it, yeah it helps keep us on track for like our goals like just me asking juan like where are you at with your your music project or <laughs> dev goals and stuff like that so i really like this idea um how do you feel about it so far i feel pretty good about it i mean i guess the time will depend on like how many things we're going to talk about yeah so. and I, I think adding people to the mix will be cool too like we were talking yeah. about getting people here on this discord group and yeah just talking about the same thing you know dev yeah and i mean travel yeah like a track where your goals with other people because i mean it's makes it a bit more fun and i guess you feel better about yourself when you talk with people about the stuff you're doing yeah it keeps you accountable um, really yeah I yeah think. yeah um, but yeah once you get people joining the server we'll have more people to talk to so yeah and i i, I really I used this idea in the past with my other um, location independent group, and it was really cool just to see the same people every week. It's almost like, I don't want to say in a bad way, but like mass, right? You go every week, you remind yourself of um, your goals and your mission and things like that. And um, yeah, I think that's all I got. Um, I'm ready to end it here if you got nothing else to say. That's it for me, man. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, we'll try to link up 
again next week and then just keep pushing on our goals right cool see you guys later see ya